Well, Boreda, I believe with deep conviction that Christmas, or rather the Christ of Christmas, has changed the world forever. Even those who do not believe Jesus to be the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of the living God, even they have to admit that Christmas has changed the world. Listen, when he was born in Bethlehem Ephrata, he transformed the very way we measure time. He turned aside the river of the ages and lifted up the centuries of its hinges. His birthday, his incarnation, touched and transformed time. Now the whole world counts time as B.C. before Christ and A.D. Anno Domini in the year of our Lord. And even humanist and, and our modern society as they try to change the B.C. now to mean before civilization, yet to when do they date civilization? It's the birth of Jesus. Yes, Jesus Christ is the central figure in human history. Yes, Christmas, you see, has changed the world. You see, the world before Christmas was a world without hospital, a world without charity, a world without respect for the sanctity of life. Hospitals were an innovation of Christianity. Hence the healing symbol of the cross represent hospitals. The nursing profession was founded by Christians such as Florence Nightingale out of, dev out of a devotion for Christ. One of history's greatest human humanitarian movements, the International Red Cross, was founded by Christians in response to the scriptural instructions to care for the sick and the suffering. Christians like Dr. Louis Pasteur have fueled some of the greatest practical advances in medicine. Pasteur's, Pasteur has probably saved more lives than any other individual in history through human Interventions, uh, inventions. Yes, Christmas has changed the world. You see, before the advent of Christianity, every culture practiced slavery and human sacrifice, even the highly esteemed Greek and Roman civilizations. Child sacrifice was common among pagan religions. The Aztec Empire in Mexico and the Inca Empire in Peru engaged in slavery, ritual rapes and mass human sacrifices. Suti, the burning of widows on funeral pyres of their husbands, was common practice in Hindu India, India before the missionary William Carey arrived. Yes, Christmas has changed the world. Slavery was eradicated as a result of the tireless efforts of Christians such as William Wilberforce and David Livingstone. Respect for life and liberty is the fruit of Christianity. You see, the promotion of liberal abortion, euthanasia and pornography are not offering us progress but only a return to a pre-Christian paganism. Yes, Christmas has changed the world. Dr. James Kennedy said, every school you see, public or private, religious or secular, is a visible reminder of the religion of Jesus Christ. So is every college and university. Yes, Christmas has changed the world. Christianity has been the most powerful agent in transforming society for over 2,000 years. No other religion, philosophy, teaching, 
nation or movement has changed the world for the better as Christianity has done. Yes, Christmas has changed the world. Jesus Christ is the greatest man who ever lived. Listen, wise men still seek him. He became like us so that we may come like him. He was rejected that we might be accepted. He was condemned that we might be forgiven. He was punished that we might be pardoned. He suffered that we, that we might be strengthened. He was whipped that we might be healed. He was hated that we might be loved. He was crucified that we might be justified. He was tortured that we might be comforted. And he died that we might live. Yes, he endured what we deserve so that we might enjoy what only he deserves. Yes, my friend, Christmas has changed the world. Have a great day. Bo Bendith.